Good morning. A couple of weeks ago, our family was approached about delivering one of these talks for St. Gregory's annual stewardship event. We were told that the subject of this talk should be what St. Gregory's means for us. Well, I began thinking about our time with St. Gregory's family and so many memories began flooding in. What wonderful people you all are, the Bible studies, the choir anthems, the staggering amount of consideration that people show for each other, the smiles, the epic passing of the peace sessions that we used to have, how much I miss seeing you every week. But do you know how much St. Gregory's really means to me? I love you all so much that I'm willing to discuss my least favorite subject, stewardship. Stewardship feels icky to me. Talking about money in the church seems so out of place, so mundane, even inappropriate. Like any minute, Jesus is going to walk in the door and start flipping over the money changing tables. Paying the light bill is Monday through Friday talk. Sundays is for giving hugs and singing hymns. I'd love to skirt around the issue and just talk about what St. Gregory's means to me. But instead, I'll address the elephant in the room. The church needs resources to function. And often there are sticky issues that need to be dealt with. One year, the roof needs to be fixed. Another time, the HVAC unit breaks. How often do we repave the parking lot? How often do we give raises to the staff? Then there are the needs that are presented to us. A family is in distress, a cause in the community, a disaster in the world. There's always, there's always somebody more that we want to help. So how do we make these two worlds meet? The part of us that wants to love thy neighbor and the part of us that wants to balance thy checkbook. I propose that we flip the narrative and view stewardship as an act of love. I don't mean love for God, although that's certainly true, but you already know that piece. What I mean is that giving faithfully and above all regularly is an act of love for our church leadership, the people who pay the bills, the people who have to roll up their sleeves and do the hard behind the scenes work. This year has been so difficult. Every single family has been affected in one way or another by the COVID epidemic. Our work, our ability to get around, our relationships, everything has been affected. I'm not privy to any information about how our church members are doing financially or how many people are in need right now. But whether it's one person or 50, our church leadership needs to be equipped with the knowledge of how much capacity our congregation has to help. So with that in mind, let's overcome our collective icky feelings and stand in solidarity with Mother Nikki, our vestry, and everyone who makes church happen for us. Let us prayerfully and thoughtfully pledge our time, treasure, and talents to do God's work in 2021.